Right, so today I want to talk about uh, a molecule which really did change a huge amount of lives. In fact, it saved many, many lives over the years since it was introduced in about, I think it was late 1967, something like that. In 1965, in the age range of 15 to 44, three people in every 100,000 died from asthma, died from asthma. If we go to 10 years later, in 1975, that was down to just under one person. And now it's less than 0.4, I think, people per 100,000 is dying because of asthma. So what happened in that interim? What caused this great uh, success? And that molecule uh, is part of this here. It's called salbutamol. And it's the first, it was the first uh, inhaled asthma drug. And it, it works by just dilating all the bronchi in your lungs. So you can get more air in, you can use that air much better. Here's the technical bit. So this is adrenaline. We've all heard of adrenaline. Let's look at it that way, because it always uh, looks better there. Uh, so we've got uh, a nitrogen here, here we've got an oxygen, and over here we've got two oxygens, and a, this is a benzene ring. So the important part about adrenaline is obviously uh, part of your nervous system, it's a neurotransmitter and there are various different receptors around your body that accept uh, adrenaline or noradrenaline and noradrenaline is just the, uh, the one with the methyl on the nitrogen as well. So they're both natural compounds and these will either speed up your heart, um, they will constrict your blood vessels, they'll constrict or relax the bronchi in your lungs because if you're being uh, if you're being chased by a lion, your heart, need, heart needs to speed up, uh, your, your blood vessels constrict to help the blood pressure to get to your muscles, your bronchi dilate because you're going to need a lot of oxygen getting away from that line. We can use these to help dilate the, the lungs, uh, essentially, so allowing more air, air flow, but because they're natural compounds, they're there are mechanisms for the removal of these from the receptor sites and those mechanisms are very quick so it wouldn't be a very long-lasting drug at all. Uh, and the key to the removal of uh, adrenaline or noradrenaline from the receptor site is the methylation of this oxygen atom here. So let's just put a methyl on there. That then is absorbed, it's not active and it gets recycled. But that is a phenolic OH. So what the inventors of salbutamol did very cleverly was to realize that if they put in an extra carbon between the benzene ring and the, this particular oxygen, it's still in the same kind of place, it can still act, but now this OH bond is much stronger. It's not phenolic anymore, it's benzylic as we, uh, we technically call it. So now the methylation of this is much, much slower. So it's in the receptor longer and it allows the bronchi to dilate and for you to be able to breathe again. So this really has saved millions of lives, this, this molecule. It's uh, done as a kind of aerosol, so it goes straight to the active site. It doesn't get uh, so far into your system as to, to act on the heart or the brain or anything else. And then just the, uh, the PS to the resistance. To help selectivity and bioavailability, they just made the methyl group on the end here. Just, just pick that one up into a T-butyl group. So slightly different, and that made it more specific to the beta-2 adrenoceptor. And there are various different types of uh, adrenoceptors. So this now is the molecule salbutamol. This molecule is the active ingredient of your asthma drug.